Alexander Anbert. Well, with Aliona Savchenko and Bruno Masso from Germany out due to injury, Natalia Zabiako and Alexander Enbert from Russia have stepped into the Grand Prix final spotlight here in Marseille as the first alternates teamed up in the spring of 2015. Natalia, previously representing Estonia, now living and training with Alexander in Moscow. Opening triple twist, a little heavy on the catch, but no major break. Side by side, triple toes a little forward and a bit of a unison break on the transition out. That was strange how she had different steps after her jump, maybe not enough flow to really accomplish that choreography. Throw triple loop. A little tight on the way out, and you can see her putting that free foot down to stabilize. No major mistakes, but those little bobbles do add up, especially in the short program. Well, they had some big shoes to fill when they stepped in for Savchenko and Maso here at the final. She is from Estonia. He is from Leningrad, Russia. Zabiako and Enbert in their second season competing together. And altogether, it was not a disastrous performance by any means. But when you come in as the alternate, you need to make a statement, and that statement's not gonna be made unless you go out and do everything to the best of your ability. And they're in a very unique position right now. They got into the final as the alternates. They have been thrust towards the top of Russian pair skating without Volozozhar and Trenkov there, without Stolbova and Klimov due to injury. So now, all of a sudden, they're one of the top two teams in Russia, which is renowned for their amazing pair teams year in and year out. But let's take a look at these side-by-side -side triple toes. In single skating, when you're a little bit off, you have that little tuck behind with the free foot, and it doesn't really come off as a major mistake. But in pair skating, when the transition is a step forward onto the left forward outside edge, and the partner completes that transition and you go for the tuck behind, all of a sudden, it makes it look like a glaring mistake. Mm, and it certainly caught my attention right away. And 
as you've been saying, with this team coming in as the alternates, I have to say you can see a difference in the quality of the execution of both their technical elements and their choreography compared with some of the top teams competing here. Having said that, what an incredible experience for these two to have to take the ice with the best teams in the world and compare themselves head to head and see where they can make up some of that ground moving forward, as you said, domestically in Russia as well as internationally. So it's a 65.79 for Zabiako and Enbert from Russia, currently placing them in fourth place. And you see there the discrepancy between that number and the over 78 that their countrymen posted at the beginning of this event. So some work ahead for the young couple, but plenty of potential to do just that.